Governor Gavin Newsom has a warning tonight for his fellow California Democrats. Do not follow Colorado's decision to remove Donald Trump from the ballot because you think he incited the January 6th insurrection. It's something his own lieutenant governor supports. Newsom telling Politico exclusively, exclusively, there is no doubt that Donald Trump is a threat to our liberties and even to our democracy. But in California, we defeat candidates at the polls. Everything else is a political distraction. Well, Melanie Mason, she got that exclusive scoop and she joins me now live right now. Happy holidays to you. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for being with me, Melanie. Thanks, Marla. So this is not just a clear shot at uh, the Colorado Supreme Court's decision, but his own lieutenant governor and also nine state Democrats. Is this surprising that Governor Newsom said this? It's definitely a brush pack pitch, to be sure. I mean, look, Gavin Newsom is not above political stunts. We have covered many that he has done, but he seems to be very tepid about what we've seen from other California Democrats, including Lieutenant Governor Lenny Kunalakis, when they sort of jumped on this bandwagon after this Colorado State Supreme Court ruling. Uh, and so we saw, for example, the Lieutenant Governor sent a letter to the Secretary of State in California to say, hey, maybe you should look into this. Uh, we saw a state lawmaker introduce a bill that would sort of get the process going for people people to sue to get Trump to removed off the ballot. And it seemed like Newsom's read on perhaps the politics of this, and maybe the policy benefits too, was this is perhaps not a political winner. And so by putting out this statement, I think it says pretty unequivocally that he's not particularly enthused by all of these moves he's seen from other Californians. I think that perhaps if the United States Supreme Court weighs in and if they agreed for, with the Colorado Supreme Court's interpretation, I don't think that he would be upset to see Trump off the ballot. But I don't think that he likes to see perhaps this piling on effect that some of these California politicians were really eager to do. You cover the governor very closely. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on how much his sort of odd relationship, odd is one way to characterize it, I think, uh, his relationship with Trump. They certainly do not hate each other. Uh, I know that Trump has been complimentary of Newsom many times on the record and Newsom vice versa. How much of this, uh, how much of that plays into this, you think? I think it's definitely a factor because you're right. There's there's less sort of swinging at every pitch that you perhaps would have expected from this sort of avowed liberal like Newsom. And in fact, before he was governor, we saw him really like to taunt Trump, sort of jump on every potential you know potential thing to call him out. But there's been this distinct change in tone when he became governor, and I think that's the realities of governing. You know, when you are working with the then president for things like wildfire response or COVID-19 response, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't do you any good to make enemies with the president of the United States. And so what you saw from Governor Newsom was managing that relationship a little bit more. I think that he sort of read what plays well and what doesn't with then President Trump. And so you don't necessarily see him take every opportunity to throw pot shots. He still does, um, mm -hmm. as you saw even in that statement, but it's mm -hmm. not uh, all, every single one. Yeah, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It was because of the work that he did during the wildfires here in California and also COVID. He said that Trump gave him everything he wanted. So there you have it. Uh, how much of this is all about leveraging for the 2028 presidential election? I think everything that Governor Newsom does, we look through through the lens of, is he running for president? And he does have a pretty finely attuned political radar. I think that there is a perception and a, and a very fair one that he's a very progressive guy and likes to appeal to the Democratic base. But every so often, we see him sort of veer away from throwing the red meat. And I think that that's a reflection of him looking at an electorate beyond super blue California and thinking perhaps how does he uh, appeal to more moderate or centrist voters as well. Because he's long denied running for the presidency in 2024, but he hasn't denied 2028 yet, has he? He hasn't shut that door firmly. I think he's been so focused on clamping down on any rumors that he might try to either challenge uh, President Biden or replace President Biden that so much of that chatter has been about this current presidential election. But, you know, you're right. 2028 um, certainly seems like a possibility. OK, well, thank you, as always, for the great work. Keep it up there at Politico. Melanie Mason, thanks. Thanks for having me.